and happy September and welcome to Tea Cozy Folks Cozy Little Knitting Nook and we're here again in the summer house. I do love it in the summer house but realistically this is probably the last month in the summer house because I expect in October it could be too cold but I've got lots to show you this month. I've got an update on the calendars and oh, I've got the proof to show you. I'm going to show you the proof and I've got um, oh the Simply Knitting magazine. They've printed one of my knitting patterns so I'm going to show you that and I've got tea cozies to show you and things for Halloween to show you oh and I've got a little free sewing pattern to make a little Terry's chocolate orange not a real one because you can't sew chocolate but anyway I've got that to show you and talk about as well and I've got news about the Harrogate knitting and stitching show so it's going to be an action-packed vlog this week and I'm going to kick off with the little chocolate orange pattern. Now, usually, you know, we buy chocolate oranges and make our little cosies. But I don't know about you, but sometimes they're two pounds now to buy a chocolate orange. And I don't want to pay two pounds for a chocolate orange. I want to wait. You know, when they come down and they're a bit cheaper and they're a pound for a chocolate. That's the best, best time, isn't it? To buy your chocolate oranges. But sometimes... You need a model, you know, to be making your cosies on. And so I made a little sewing pattern. So you can make, look, similar size. So you make a little chocolate orange and then you've got that one instead. So you can save a few quid. But also, you know, people are tempted to eat these, aren't they? Before you've finished your project. <laughs> so no one wants to eat these ones. So there's a little pattern and you can download the pattern free from the Tea Cozy Folk website and it looks like this. So there's only one pattern piece and there's a little video as well, you know, the tutorial to show you how I made it. So I'll put the link to where to download the paper pattern and I'll put a link to the tutorial in the links below so you can go and make one as well because, you know, that's really handy to have if you like making chocolate orange cozies. And just to show you that it works, this month's, you know, in this year's calendar, September is the month for making little mushrooms. Toadstools, aren't they? The mushrooms, when we eat them, they're toadstools when, and they've got lovely red tops. And that's this month's, you see. So it works well, doesn't it? You know, and it doesn't fall over or wobble about. Oh. Could you tell the difference? Maybe I ought to do a thing and hide them and bring them out and see if you can tell the difference. <laughs> but yeah, so if you've got this year's calendar, this is the month for knitting your toadstools. So, you know, post them online. I want to see. I'd love to see. So they're the mushrooms and they're the substitute chocolate oranges. I wanted to show you what I'm working on at the moment. And this is, um, you know when the trick-or-treaters come or if you're having a Halloween party and you leave a tub of sweets on the side because everybody wants a sweet. And it's just to cover, look, it's a, a quality street tub. Look, so it's just, and, they, and the cover goes on the top and covers it up. And, um, and I want to make it look like a big spider on the top. So I've got this plastic stuff. It's called boning. Look, it's used for putting in corsets, you know, to shape things. And it's just plastic and it comes in, look, a big reel. It's not very expensive. And um, you can get it in black or white. And this is black. I think it's one centimetre wide, this one. And um, yeah, and that's what I'm using to stiffen the legs. So my plan is, as you can see, is... The legs will come down and over the outside of the box but and then all join up here and you know look that's so even when I put the spider's body on that will still support him so that's that and in here look I've I've knitted a cobweb to cover the top of the box to cover the sweets up because um I'm kind of thinking, you know, the head's looking towards you and there's a hole in the cobweb. 
so you can just get your hand in and get a sweet but because you'll have to come by the spider's head and the cobweb will touch the back of your hand and and i just want to make it a bit of a spooky experience you know and a lot of people don't like spiders so i just thought that that would be you know a bit spooky for halloween so that's what i'm working on at the moment and um oh i did by this stage of the game i hope to have it completed but I've, the calendar has taken over my life it's just been oh it's just been relentless it's been real urgency to get all the calendar designs finished and then get them test knitted but and you can't i've got to wait for all the test knitters to come back with me with their feedback before i can start building the calendar and because you know i've only used this software a couple of times it's like every time i get back to it to make a new calendar it's like oh how does this work what am i doing and it's just oh crikey it's a nightmare i tell you so that's taken over my life so this got put on the burner a bit on the back burner and i've not really been touching it so i need to really press on with this this week and by the end of the week i want to finish my spider so that's the plan but yeah so the calendar though is well underway i'll show you that in a little while have you got this month simply knitting look came out this week and I've got a knitting pattern in it which isn't a tea cosy it's um look a macaw parrot hanger isn't it cute I love parrots they're just gorgeous aren't they they're brightly coloured and they're cheeky I love cheeky and I, I have discovered this summer that I like naughty birds there was a really naughty goose called Bruce and he pecked at your shoelaces and I loved him I'd have took him home so here is the parrot hanger and um so it, it's a lovely parrot you can knit him in any colour you like I've got some others to show you in a moment but he um he's not actually attached to the ring look there at the bottom it's just suspended from the top on a bit of fishing line so he just he's suspended and he just hangs and um and he's really cute isn't he and my daughter's pinched this one she wants him hanging in a room so um she's got jungly wallpaper and she really wanted a parrot to hang so um yeah so she pinched this one i think she gave him a name but i can't remember what it is but that's that's the same colours as the ones in the magazine and then I got a bit playful with this one look and I've managed to put two parrots on one hoop I've just got to organise his feet he's not actually stood on it at the minute oh well, neither is he but um yeah so there's a green one at the bottom see he looks quite nice knitted in green and then at the top here it's all red just one colour and um and I quite like him knitted in one colour. He looks quite sweet. But together they look, you know, this is what parrots do, aren't they? They're cheeky and playful and, you know. And I thought that that's fun to have them on. What? Oh, if you wanted to know, this one's suspended. So he's stitched there into the top of the head. But this one, if I just show you, look, the... Um, the the hanging cord just goes right through his body because then he's able to stand on top of the hoop whilst his friend sits below and you could have them look in the same way but I thought it was quite nice that they looked in opposite directions because then when the hoop turns someone's looking at you aren't they yeah they're really nice I really love them so they're in this month's Simply Knitting magazine I can't remember what issue it is um i'll have a look and put it down below so you know what issue you can find them in stick in with simply knitting you might remember the winter scarf tea cozy that was in an issue last i think it was 
actually I don't think it was last year I think it was January and um, anyway um, the knitting pattern will be available as a PDF download on the Tea Cozy Folk website on the 26th of this month September so you could get one and knit one too you know and it's it's quite a fun thing to knit because it this bit you start here and knit across and then it oh no is it that way you start that way knit across and then it comes up and over the the spat or handle and then you can put little tassels on the end you could put anything on the end if you wanted i don't know i always think of scarves having little tassels on which is why i put tassels on but it does look like someone's come along and just bundled the teapot or in a scarf doesn't it just to keep it warm yeah so that is on the website on the 26th of this month so you could knit one in time for winter now it's tea cozy folk knitting pattern calendar time Woo! and here's the proof so this is the one before they do all the big print job. This is the one just to check and make sure everything's perfect before it goes to print. But look, it's really bright and jazzy. It's A4 size, so that's, you know, fits on the wall nicely, doesn't it? And then, oh, so that's the front cover. And then on the back, there's some calendar information which tells you about um the abbreviations and the basic patterns there and there's a bit about tea cozy folk and tension and yarn and all of the patterns are knitted with four millimeter knitting needles so that's january so you know we've got the yeti and he's a little yeti cozy because you know bonnable snowmen and and it's cold in january isn't it it's one of the colder months and so I thought I'd do a Yeti and the pattern is on the reverse of the January page. And then there's loads of room to write your special days and birthdays and appointments and parties. And you can fill, fill in the calendar parts. But it's not really about the calendar, is it? Really, it's about the knitting patterns. And there's 12, there's 12 patterns all together. And... Um, and there, uh, look, so that's March. Let's pick another page, just at random. And uh, that is, oh, look at that, August. The Rocket's one of my favorites. I love it, it looks like 1960s Rockets. And we're going to the moon next year. So I thought that would be brilliant for next year. So anyway, so they're all in there. And there's, um, oh, there's a lovely one for Christmas. Look, it's a little elf in a Christmas pudding. I think he's dressed up and he's got really long legs. So you can sit him on a shelf and his legs will dangle down. So put him on the mantelpiece, he'll look really cute. So the calit this is the proof and I've got to go through. Oh, and there's a backboard at the back to make sure that it's, you know, kept nice and flat and pristine. And the calendar hopefully is going to print on Monday. I'm going to send, I've got to finish the details this weekend, send it off on Monday. And hopefully I will get the calendars back by the 19th of September. That's my deadline, hopefully, of when it's going to be launched on the website. So if you want to get a calendar, it will definitely be on the website on the 19th of September. And I'll send out a newsletter just to remind you so you know, so it's there. But at the moment, the calendar's already on the website taking pre-orders. So if you don't want to miss out and you want to pre-order, and lots of people already have, you can go and pre-order yours and that will save you a copy so you know you've got one. And as soon as they come in, I will send them out. So if the calendars come back, I don't know, by... Wednesday of next week the pre-order ones will be going out the door on Wednesday so you'll get yours before the 19th but yeah so that's that so that's the calendar and it'll be available on the 19th on the website so ooh, exciting it's really exciting 
it's and it's taken over my life for so long it's just like oh wow and it's amazing to see it professionally printed and that's brilliant and the printers is just around the corner it's really good it's a nice local little company so that's brilliant more exciting news i'm going to the harrogate knitting and stitching show to give a little talk about sewing up tea cozies and tips and things for finishing off your knitwears and the show is on from the 21st to the 24th of november and my talk is on the 24th of november which is the sunday I will be knocking around on Saturday as well and I might pop in and have a little look. But I will be there on the 24th, on the Sunday, and I'm doing my talk. I think it's at 3.30 I'm doing the talk. But what I would like to do in the morning is have a little knitting circle. You know, perhaps where they, just in front of where they do the workshops, there's a little coffee area so you can get coffee and they have a few tables and it'd be lovely if we could all gather around the table and we could all sit and have a knit and have a little chat and have a natter and it'd just be lovely to meet some of the people who you know have supported me and and who buy my knitting patterns and and that would be amazing I'd love that so I'm going to try and arrange a time for that so if you're on the newsletter I'll let you know or if you're in the Facebook group and if you're not in the Facebook group, join up. I'll put the link down below. Join the Facebook group and then we can discuss when we can meet up on the Sunday morning. That'd be lovely. That'd be really nice. So that's um, the knitting group. And I'll be doing the, um, the talk at half past three. So, you know, come along. Do come along and come on the Sunday. Don't pick the other days. Come on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it'd be lovely to meet you. So if you see me, do call me and say hello, because yeah, I'd love to say hello. That'd be lovely. It'd be lovely to meet you. So that's Harrogate in November. Feels like a long way off, but oh, it'll come around really quick. That will. Do you remember I was knitting a Florence Nightingale tea cosy? Here she is. She's all finished and sewn together. And she's got a little storm lamp and she's holding it up so she can see. And she's wearing a big dress. They used to wear big dresses then, didn't they? And um, and a little apron. She's got all of the, the little nurse's uniform on. And, um, and I suppose she kind of designed that and created it. Because it was her who made advancements in, you know, nursing and hygiene and, and organising things. For the, um, keeping the soldiers you know, getting them safe and well in the Crimean War. So that's Florence Nightingale. And she's going to be on the website later on this month. And I can't remember the date, but um, I think it's next week. I think it, it is. It's next Thursday. But um, anyway, I'll put the details down below. And um, so, yeah, so that's Florence Nightingale. And, oh, if you just, oh, sorry, Florence. But if you look, you, you know, the... The tea cosy comes down to the bottom and grips and then there's a little frill that's knitted on to join in and that you know keeps the hug in the teapot then the main part whilst the skirt can you know flare out a bit so that's just the structural stuff underneath yeah so that's florence and she'll be on the website later on this month so keep an eye out for her or join the newsletter and then you'll get the newsletter just as a little reminder another little thing i wanted to talk to you about was this lovely little knitting resource called what to knit next and it's perfect for you know when you don't because you don't always know what you want to knit next you know and you need some inspiration and it's nice to have somebody who comes and gives you ideas and says what about this what about that you know and it's not just about knit this pattern or knit that pattern she shows you different yarns different techniques you know and different stitches you know and i love all that with the stitches you know because a lot of what i do is stocking stitch and it's lovely to you know to do the intricate lacy stitches and i love cabling you know cabling on a jumper is just lovely isn't it and i love the yokes on jumpers too and she gives you all sorts of inspiration like that so she's you know so it's not just here's a pattern go and knit that she's more like you know and you can do it in this stitch and do it with this yarn and and it's really interesting it's really good and the little resource she does a little 
newsletter every week and there's lots of things in it. It's really packed full of stuff and there's tips and ideas and everything. It's brilliant. And the lady is such a lovely lady and you can read about her story, how she'd, she was a teacher, but now she's gone into doing, you know, this knitting resource and, and, and she's given everything to, uh, you know, her knitting. And it's just lovely, isn't it? And I suppose for me, I kind of, I can empathise with that, you know, I relate to that because, you know, this is what I do. I don't have another job, but I knit for my living. So I suppose, yeah, I can relate to that. And, and it's just, I don't know, living the dream, isn't it? Do what you love, that's what they say. And you never work a day in your life. And that's kind of what it's like, isn't it? And, and that's what she's doing. So I'll put the details down below. But yeah, go along, check her out and, you know, and, and sign up and get her newsletter. It's brilliant. It's called What to Knit Next. And um, yeah, I'll put all the details down below so you can have a look. But do check it out, have a look and read up and read about her. It's really interesting. So, and that's it for this month. That's it. There's such a lot. I feel like it's been manic. It's been absolutely bonkers this end. It's just been all about this. That seems to be all I've done all month. And the last week has just been full on. And there was one night I was sat there working on the calendar till 10 o'clock at night. It was like, oh. But yeah. So in a way, I'm glad I'm at this final stage. And for next week, they'll go off to be printed. Because now my week can calm down and... Yeah, and I can get back to Halloween because I love Halloween. It's one of my favourite holidays. So, yeah, so that's my plan. So I need to get that done next week and start. I'd like to start um, Halloween tea cosy, but watch this space. You'll perhaps um, hear about that soon. But um, yeah, so that's the plan. So if you want a calendar, you can either sign the newsletter and then I'll remind you and tell you or go and pre-order it. And um, other than that, I'll see you next month. So and what would that be? October. Flipping egg, October already. So, yeah, so I'll see you in October. So you stay safe and well and I look forward to seeing you then. Keep knitting. Bye.